Okay, in this video we're going to add some additional controls for this and have them exposed up at the top level um, so we can control these in Unreal Engine as well as do um, collision detection on terrain. So we'll start by right clicking on here, go to type properties, make sure we're on the parameters tab and let's start by making some folders. And these are going to house our controls just to keep things nice and tidy. Um, the first one's going to be module controls. Hit D to duplicate that. And this is going to be curve controls. Um, the first thing we're going to do is click and drag these into here. Same for this one here. And let's put in a separator just to keep these nice and tidy. So we hit apply. You can see it's automatically made a link here. And if we right click on here and go parameters, you can see they're exposed on our top level now. So if we jumped up and clicked on this node, this is what we'd be seeing. Let's add in a mirror. There's another control I want, and I'm just gonna add a switch so we can toggle this on and off. And let's add in a toggle up here. Call this mirror. So the name is this can only exist once, as you can see it translates named T2 for these other ones automatically. And the name is just, or well, the label is um, what will be displayed. So let's hit apply there. Right click, bring this up, and click and drag that onto our switch. That is now linked. And then we can just select these two, hold alt to copy them. And connect those up. Um, to control this curve, we're gonna to have to do something slightly different. We need to come over to node and um, just click and drag it into editable nodes. We don't actually need all of this. We just need it to say curve one. For the resample, I want this along arc mode or along court, the length, or the oriented curve, the tangent type, and this um, target object. Probably won't need to change this one, but it's not bad to have. Is a control. Okay, so let's hit apply on all of those. Now, to do the collision, first thing we're going to need to do is come over to basic and one more input called the terrain. Um, mine's already done named terrain because I did this before. Um, but yeah, it's good to name these. And let's just hit accept. So now I've got this one called terrain. Um, let's make a basic terrain. So we want a height field. And this is just for testing, this is a tool. Um, and a Field noise. Plug that into this third input we have now. Let's bring this way down to like 20 and maybe like 150 or something or 100. Just so we've got some pretty gentle noise on here. I wouldn't 
want to add a null after this, just so we can point to this easily if we need to, which we are. And in collision or in brain, whatever you prefer. Doesn't really matter too much, as long as it makes sense to you. And what we need to do is add a ray. Then in here, and collision parameters is this one here. So if we view this, and I'm going to control click this one here, just to ghost it. There's a couple of things you need to do to make this work properly. First, the ray is traveling down. Um, so what we want to do is make sure this is above the collision terrain all the time. So we can do that pretty easily, like it is in this case, and you could just manually move it up. <laughs> but to make this procedural, we're going to use an expression. Um, specifically this B box here, or bounding box is what it's short for. Um, all the expressions for Houdini, which is just expressions you put in here to do specific things, can be found on this website. Um, very useful, tells you exactly what you need. Um, so we need the service node, which is the node we point. We want to reference the magic box of, and the well, data we want to get, which is this type, where it's the min, the max, or the size of a specific axis. So we want bbox, and inside quotations do dot dot slash. That just basically means look up from this node one level um, to any of the nodes in this. Uh, in collision, that's what we want, pointing to this node. And we want to do comma, and then what we're looking for is d underscore um, y max, close brackets. And we can see it's moved it up basically by the maximum value of this terrain on the y. So we know it will be a buff now. The other thing we need, this is the nerves when it's raining down. Um, so we want to resample it before it's raid. Um, 0.25, something quite high detail. And the reason we're not doing this resample before the ray is because this is going to like move it axis so this distance will get stretched in some cases um, so it's good to do a high detail array and then resample once the curves in its final position and now we have this that we should follow our terrain so if we come up it's going to View that as well. And if we adjust this noise, you can see it will stick to it now. Cool. So in the next video, we will. Um, set up Houdini Engine for Unreal as well as test this inside of it.